Imagine, Imagine that you and a friend are each taking, taking a vacation. You are, you are going, going on a cruise in the, in the sunny Pacific, Pacific Ocean. Your friend, your friend is climbing in the Swiss Alps. Alps. Just, Just like you probably wouldn't pack snow pants and a heavy jacket for an island adventure, your friend probably wouldn't want to have a snowball fight in shorts and a t-shirt. The difference in how you and your friend would pack for your trips is due to the climate. Climate is the pattern of weather in an area over a period of time. It's not the daily or weekly weather you see on the news. Climate is determined by looking at the weather patterns over a long period of time, usually around 30 years. An area's climate is determined by observing a number of different factors. These factors include temperature, humidity, or the amount of water vapor in the air, distance from bodies of water, wind, amount and types of precipitation, topography, or an area's land and water features, such as mountains, lakes, and rivers, latitude, or the distance north or south of the equator, and elevation, or how far above sea level the area is located. By looking, By looking at the factors, factors of an area's climate, climate scientists, scientists generally group the climate into one of five main climate groups. A sixth climate, sixth climate group, group, called a highland, is found, is found in high elevations. However, However it isn't it always listed as a climate group and will, and will not be covered in this lesson. lesson. Tropical, Tropical climates all experience heat and, and periods of heavy rainfall. rainfall. They're found, They're found mostly on either side of the equator, in Asia, Africa, and South America, and include rainforests and tropical wet and dry climates. Rainforests are always warm and humid and have lots of rain. Tropical wet and dry climates, like a savanna, experience seasons with a lot of rainfall and other seasons with little rainfall. Dry climates are hot and receive little precipitation. Most of these climates are located in Africa and Australia. Arid dry climates or deserts receive less than a foot of rain a year. Semi-arid climates or grasslands receive more rain, allowing plant life to grow. Could you, Could you survive, survive the heat and, and lack of water in this climate? climate? Mild, Mild climates have warm and cold seasons and are usually located near a large body of water. Mediterranean, Mediterranean climates, located mostly around the Mediterranean Sea, have warm summers and cool rainy winters. winters. Humid subtropical, subtropical climates are hot and humid, humid in the summer, cold, cold in the winter, and have, and have rain during either season. season. Finally, a marine climate like Seattle, Washington, has cold winters and a lot of rain. Do you, Do you love the changing seasons? seasons? Then this climate is for you. Continental climates experience changes between seasons and are found in the northern hemisphere. Humid continental climates, like the upper part of the United States, have warm summers and cold winters. Subarctic climates, like that of Canada, have lower temperatures and longer winters. Polar climates happen within the Arctic and Antarctic circles. The tundra climate is very cold with a long winter season. However, during short summer seasons, plants and animals are visible. In ice cap climates, the temperatures are usually below freezing all year round, while little precipitation falls on ice-covered ground. Okay, let's take a second or two to review what we've learned. Climate is the pattern of weather in an area over a long period of time. It's, it's impacted, impacted by different, different factors, including, including the following. Temperature, humidity, or the amount of water vapor in the air. Distance from bodies of water. Wind, the amount and types of precipitation. Topography, or an area's land and water features, such as mountains, lakes, and rivers. Latitude, or the distance north or south of the equator. And elevation, or how far above sea level the area is located. We also learned that there are five main types of climate. Tropical, dry, mild, continental, and polar. Now, you should be aware of all the different types of climates around the world, and how they all function. Try to pick out your own climate next time you step outside.